let's keep the suspense. And now, whenever you're ready, let's create a copy of this file because this one is in read-only mode and therefore we want to create a copy in order to re-implement it from scratch together and make sure to focus because, you know, this will be quite more advanced than before. So let's put that right here. And there we go now. Let's remove the cells and let's try not to look at the final results, right? You just put your eyes around here. You don't look at the results because let's try to keep the surprise of the predicted salary up to the end, you know, up to the final execution of the code. All right, so let's remove all this and this as well, this as well, only the code cells, right? Please keep all the text cells so that we can keep the well-highlighted structure of this implementation. All right, and now really make sure to not look at the result, you know, the output of the code cell because that's where you will see, you know, the final results. All right, I managed to do it. I did not look at it, even if, of course, I know the result. But what I mean is that it was totally possible not to look at it. All right, so that's the whole structure. And now we're ready to start this implementation. And so there you go. I suggest that we really tackle in a flashlight. I love saying this, I know. But we will tackle in one second that data preprocessing phase except that part because that part is actually not that direct you know there are going to be some things to explain all right so let's do this let's start by importing the libraries and of course to do this we're going to use our data preprocessing template i hope you have it prepared so there you go let's first get this code to import the libraries in a new code cell paste here then we're going to import the data set and actually to do this we'll get our polynomial regression implementation because, you know, this is the exact same data set and we don't have to explain that again because you perfectly know and understand now how this works, right? And voila, that's the thing I wanted to do in one second. Now we're going to quickly upload the data set in order to, you know, execute this cell after this one, of course. So now it's connecting to runtime to enable file browsing. And in a second, we should be able to see the upload button. Perfect. So upload. And then as usual, we're going to go into our machine learning A to Z folder. I like to put it on my desktop, but find it wherever you put it on your computer. Then part two regression, then support vector regression, then Python. And there you go. That's the data set open and it will be uploaded inside the notebook. Perfect. All right. Then we're going to execute these two cells and this one as well. All right, and perfect. Now we have the data set. And now we're gonna stop here for this tutorial and we will tackle this next step, feature scaling in the next one and make sure to be prepared and ready to tackle this because we'll have a few things to do. It's not difficult, but just make sure to be focused for that next tutorial because I'm going to explain a new situation where you have to apply feature scaling in a certain way. So I'll see you in the next tutorial and until then, enjoy machine learning.